I hate to break the fishing news up, Ramchuk, but I'd like to speak about the ice hockey. Congratulations. You're one of the 13 listeners of the Real Life Podcast. We just traded a migraine in for, like, an orgasm. You might want to mark that down. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All of my projects are on schedule until they're not. A member of the Nation Network of Podcasts. About as funny as we're going to get uh. today. When the hell are we going to get new yeah, intro? New intro for the new what season? The, what What is, is going on? on? There was people on X today, old they, Twitter, they asking wanted. for the... Uh, what's Twitter? Old Twitter. It's always been X.com, according to me. Yeah. Thank you. Speaking of that, what were they asking milk? for again? A ghost ride intro. the whip. Yeah, ghost ride the whip. They want to ghost ride the whip back? Yeah, I don't know. I That was before my time. I don't have it. See, I've tried to find the OG one. I can't find the really OG one. Well, they took down Vimeo, didn't they? I don't know. I don't know. Is that where it was? Yeah. Because I've looked for the really old one that was funny. And it was like, like the like, remix one? Yeah. Aww. I can't find it. Are we on video today? Yeah, we are. We don't have the screen up, and so I don't get to see the first taste of the uh, us us in a back alley somewhere. Yeah, can we? do you have the technology to turn that television screen on? We are on scene in a back That's alley. alley of That's a high Avenue. sense, Jay. <laughs> you kidding me? I may as well ask for, uh, what, easier to get to the moon than turning that thing on? Did you see that <laughs> Russian thing exploded on the surface of the moon? Oh, look out, moon. <laughs> Is that That's, true, you think? Were there people on it? No. But they didn't really mention that in the story. Yeah, very Russian. Here but did it explode, I though? You. I text you what I'm seeing. Oh, nice. It Why is isn't that TV on? Because this studio is still a work in progress. Does that are, the TV doesn't turn on? It does turn on. We are just grinding through the construction phase of things. I hope I'm not on the screen. You are not. not. Thank well, well, we'll never know. I like it. It's true. We'll never know. See, One day fix... we're going to forget. It looks good, right, Charles? Yeah, it looks awesome. Now it I'm going to fix my um... posture, though. I'm a little more from the side. I've got a real uh, yeah, I might, football. I'm going to so, take the cushion out just for me. because it. Oh, remember, yeah. this is not going to be the real life studio long term. That's the other room. It's gonna we're be not good enough. Ooh, the one that we're doing yeah. on Thursday. This one is being more made for the live broadcast side of things. The other one's going to be for the pods. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, we're doing a little bit more work to the other studio on Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. We're going to do some actual woodworking. We did some brick laying in this one. Mm-hmm. Got the mason here. We mixed up some mortar. We <laughs> laid it brick by brick. You it's wouldn't a real brick believe. and mortar oh, shop yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Also, you were talking shit about me? When? When I left? <laughs> what are you talking about? Beg Milk said that you talked shit about me. Well. When I left that day. I thought we made a wonderful team. That what, is what, what, what I said was. Couldn't be further from the truth. What I said was, because I came to check what you were doing. Yeah. And you were in here, and I'm like, oh, I thought Tyler was helping you. And you're like, yeah, some help he was. That is. And that uh, was it. Then you, that was being facetious and sarcastic. <laughs> he was fantastic. He could, come uh, and, he could come and work with me any day. We had a great rapport. Mm-hmm. You know what I look for in somebody that is a helper is somebody who sees the next step coming and gets ready for it, yeah. which Tyler does. Yeah, skate it's, into the past. Yeah, and somebody oh, who has. Vision. He's got his, yep, his yep, hockey and somebody IQ. Somebody who has patience, which he had. No, we had a tremendous. Someone who listens took like to what you're hours. saying. Yep. Which he did. Yes, exactly. I should have, I should have known Bag Milk because he's trying to rile me up. I said <laughs> exactly what he said. <laughs> yeah, this, he stated fact. Fair. Well, that's that not was, what I meant. That was said, but this is classic uh, context. Helps all. Yep. Um, Situation. But yeah, we we had so much fun doing this room that we're going to do we, I've never done... Should turn every room into a studio if you're having so much fun. before. Like, you know. What, brick and mortar? Brick and mortar. I've never done real brick and mortar before. Or wallpaper. You've never done wallpaper before? Never, not once. In all the CKC homes, there hasn't been a wallpaper bowl? I, I thought I thought it was wallpaper to do wallpaper people to do it. But they didn't call in sick one day and you spaz and did it yourself like you always do with you every know, other sub? That is true. I had to do a lot of that. You know you spaz and do all the work. Well, that's true. But no, I, I just, I've never tried my hand at it's it. It's a trade. It's a real trade. It is not as easy as you would think it was. No. Um, Especially when shit has to line up perfectly when oh, you got designs. Was, yeah. This was, yeah. We had some workarounds. But we made it work, and you can't. No shortage like, of creases, though. I see. Well, that's the texturing mm, on the brick. That's the texturing. That's, yeah, yeah. No, no, that was purposeful. That's where the brick that looks three D. It adds. Yeah, it looks distressed. It's good. When it you know comes, when I see this big brick wall you built, I feel like playing. What's well, we called it red ass. What did oh, you call it? Play a little red ass. Yeah, yeah red ass. Yeah, yeah red, red ass. ass. I just want to throw a ball against it and get one of these mother effers up there so I can be explain to people what butt. red ass is for the people that might not know what it is. Well, it's. I think it's been banned from schools. Oh, oh yeah, guaranteed. Definitely. Yeah, oh, so they don't teach anything. You anymore. threw a ball. You threw a ball against the wall of the crowd of people, and you you had to catch the ball. I believe with one hand. Yeah. And if you dropped it, you had to run to the wall. And touch it before someone could pick up that ball and throw the ball against the wall. So there's like there's like a lot of Instagram videos that have a a, 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 a play on that game where they'll spin something like a oh. bottle and then it goes to one person and that person gets to pick up 
the ball and the rest run away or I've seen it done with like eggs. I've seen it done with a golf. Branches. <laughs> Live golf. grenade. <laughs> oh, yeah, where the guy hits the ball. Yeah, it hits yeah <laughs> that's just stupid. That's a murder waiting to happen. Yeah. Wrenches. Yeah, I do. Ball. Yeah, everyone runs away with the egg. You can hit one <laughs> yeah. person the with the egg. egg. Was, and the egg, they super slow mowed it, and it was just an absolute dart right on the back of the guy's head that was running oh, away. Oh, in the hair, too. Oh, it was Ooh. just awesome. Wee. That, that reminds tough. me of, have you seen the videos that are popping up on social now where somebody goes into an ice cream shop, orders ice cream say that's not the flavor i want and then they grab the ice cream and chuck it at someone's face like at, like at, at the employee right yeah, yeah. At the employee's face and it they had it coming right oh, fucking mouth. That's, that is awful that's that's awful. Awful. It's, all, it's all staged yeah, yeah all staged, that better be staged you know it's not staged and i want to know your guys' thoughts bank on this, robbery there is definitely a trend out right now where a mother or father and their very young child will be cooking and oh, the they'll egg? have a bowl with the egg and yeah. They get to the part where they're going to crack the egg and they crack it on the kid's head to crack it and then put the egg in. And the kid's like just dumbfounded <laughs> that this just happened. And the, and the adults like love it. And I'm like, oh, oh try no one noise. Crawford would love it. I don't know that much. I want to be cracking eggs over kids. These kids, some of them are like two, three years old. Hurt That's what your boys are a little bit older. Try it on one of the boys. It but don't the, hurt the them, best man. one is a mother and a grandmother do it to this little girl who's like two and a half, three years old. And she's got the stern look on their face while they're all. Like crack, they're cracking the eggs and they're laughing, and she just looks at the grandma and just smashes it on the grandma's head and cracks it herself. So it was pretty. I mean, it's I don't know. I didn't know what to think about it. Probably not a fan of it. When I when it comes right down to it, my very first feeling was can't make not a, a trend I'd like to get behind. But can't make a tomlet without cracking some Greg's. No, can't make a tom <laughs> to, a tomlet. It's in succession. Yeah. Huh. Can't make a Tom. It was, uh, yeah. That's from succession? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it was a statement uh, that was provided in court. Yeah. <laughs> An email with the subject line. All right. So first things first, I want to just, if we are into the second week of preseason football right now, and mm. I'm going to be a very busy boy. Who knew? If I actually have to start breaking down stadium fights. Because are people getting rowdy? Oh, there was, there was, already? There was already? a 49er on 49er the fight. 49er Let's on 49er go. One. San Francisco gonna, has that fallen. Was a, that was almost a riot. I'm going to show it to Wanya right San now. San Francisco has fallen. Because can you text me the group, like the link, so I can Yes, see I absolutely can. It was sent to me today, and I've seen it already, but this version of it was sent to me We can't be fighting in the preseason, the people. Come on, man. But it's, but it's same team fans fighting each other. This oh, guy no, in a no, Jerry no. Rice jersey, they let him go. Rice the other guy... Uh oh! Eats about fourteen punches oh right here. Boom boom boom, oh boom, oh boom, 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 oh boom, 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 boom. Like, that, 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 like that, that's double hammers right there. Double oh hammers, and it is. Yeah, I'll text it to the group. You can put it on the thing, but like, this is. And he's from the low ground. Well, so so he yeah, falls down. Rare low ground win. They actually square up on <laughs> same ground. Oh, and then he his, and his actually power puts. Up, yeah, uh. yeah. He puts himself into the low ground and still. I mean, it's got those low man, ground hammers. It's like it's one of those things where the more you see it, the more aware you are of it. And so I'm starting to be like, I don't know that I want to go to many football games. Ah, it comes well, like, but there's not like, like I mean, that, I've never seen it. A just fight doesn't at a happen. Have you ever seen a uh, an actual fist fight at a hockey arena? Yes, football I have. Arena, yes, at an Oakland Raiders run. game. Really? I saw a guy like was like standing in the crowd dancing. Raiders fan. Another guy came up and punched him in the head. Then everybody, like, he ran into the middle of the row and took his hat off. I witnessed this entire thing. All the security came, and the whole section started chanting, fuck the police. I saw one. I went to, I've only ever been to one Crazy. NFL game until the nation vacation in November when I go to Seattle. But at a Cardinals 49ers game, I saw. Yeah, so Cardinals 49ers games get really intense. And was this in, was this, did you say, sorry, where this I was? I was in Arizona. Yeah, there's and the problem with that is there's like 75% Niners fans and like 25% Cardinals fans. And they just come and take over the place and then they act rowdy and act like assies. But I've never seen one. I've never actually seen a fight. I've seen like a section over at a Oiler game. I've seen fights oh, yeah. at Eskimos games back in the day. Yeah, they have like you have to you got to create that circumstance. Kind of like seeing a shit. Like you can star. go and yeah. be drunk and have a good time, and as long as you like, and you can chirp people as long as you just don't like go personal or go weird. It's healthy. Yeah. It's good. I saw someone at Rexall Place in the gallery. On, it was my birthday. The Oilers were playing the Vancouver Canucks, and they were absolutely dummying Vancouver. Vancouver got one of those late random goals. It made it like 7-2 or something. So a Canucks fan was jumping up and down on the stairs no, going, Yay! No, you didn't. And then someone 
leaned over and kicked him in the back. Ooh, oh my god! And tumbled down the stairs from the in the gallery. That's like attempted murder. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's not cool. Don't that do that. That was on my birthday. So that's, that's not that's, cool. That's about as egregious as remember, so don't the risk do of that. being don't controversial. Do remember the don't Rangers fan on film like last year? As oh, who got concourse? It was a and he suckers him from the side. Yeah, the Tampa and, guy. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. At least be a man about it if you're going to do it. Yeah, At least you guys square up. The guy that gets fed about 14 shots in this 49 video. He was an involved he participant. was very much asking and yes. looking for <laughs> He a F around and found out. Yes. Yeah, he did. F around. And he picked the wrong guy. That guy was huge, man. And d- d- double-handed. Double-handed. His lefts were as hard as his rights and vice That's versa. That's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> um, we got reviews from the month of August. Oh. Ooh. And I take a shit beat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is it, is it the fact that you're not? Did we write them all? It? Oh man, they're really swinging. Yeah, right, let's so, go. Okay, there's four. Low ground or high down? There's ground four. Swings. I will, like sorry, on the low. I will read the first two that are not about me. Then there's three that have mentions of me in them. Or oh my! Own. You're divisive, like Bill Cosby. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nation real life from Hardy Stew lover said, "Do you still read these five stars? If you do so, <laughs> give me an Oodle Noodle gift card. Inflation is getting bad." Mm-hmm. Well, sense. these are the facts. Come pick it up. Uh, our <laughs> pal Mainlander Tim. Oh, love Mainlander chimes Tim. in. Is that all? Is that all? Like I said in the f- yeah, he yeah. just wants okay. free stuff. Yeah. Okay. Just wants free stuff. It's okay. Five star review. Yeah. Should get Valid. free stuff. Yeah. Mainlander Tim goes deep. He really like this is him flexing his real life podcast knowledge. Ooh. In this one. He's 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 been around for a Dude, long time. I would share yeah. a dildo with that guy anytime. Oh, well, he gets to that too. That is odd. He goes six <laughs> out of five. Five star review. I have to keep it 100 and state that listening to this podcast has been life-changing. Prior to listening, I had no strong opinions on chumming, backing into parking stalls, rat beefs, or 7-Eleven pizza. Ah. Now, when new episodes are released, I sit my freshly manscaped body in a purified air chamber thanks to my Pog Ozone machine. Oh, wow. (laughs) And enjoy a reheated South Island pie with a nation beer from Dog Island Brewing to learn about worldly topics like like the manufacturing of toilet wine and urine sommeliers. <laughs> she starts cracking. Yeah, urine urine sommeliers. <laughs> That's exactly what you are. Did he have a checklist he was checking oh, off? Probably. He, it's not done. <laughs> halfway done. We got to hang with him in Toronto. Okay. Mainlander Tim is a beauty. Be warned, however, listening to this podcast may have you contemplating cross-country trips to part... Take of Will Hawk beef jerky, hot hot boxes, and butter mac and cheese. In summary, if you want Oilers talk from a location that always seems to be under some form of renovation, <laughs> <laughs> this pod is for you. Sincerely, Mainlander Tim, unofficial dildo supplier to the nation. P.S. P.S. Congrats to Tyler on the engagement. Okay, wait. What? <laughs> wow. That's so nice. If that is. If he's supplying that's the dildos. the story of the podcast there. Where's mine? Well, we you do have some beers you, in the fridge. They're not dildos. He so. well, no. we we went we burned through all those dildos in Toronto. Yeah. Oh, oh did we bring some back? What on earth are you so. talking about? No, no, no. I think way dildos had... aren't actual dildos. Yeah. Well, but... burned them all in Toronto. <laughs> yeah. There were no dildos. To oh, I I, I, I I chugged mine. Yeah. What on earth? It they're actually with... at dildo brewing and museum. A museum, yeah. Oh. A brewery Sounds and a museum. Uh-uh. Come on, what else do you need? In in dildo Newfoundland. Ah, there's the missing link. Yeah, so he brought a bunch. So he's from, like, I don't know if he's from here originally or not, but he lives in Newfoundland. Yeah, he, he came and met us in Toronto for the nation vacation, cool. and he brought, like, a flat of... Uh, a couple of flats, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, Dildo Brewing How and Museum Tall Boys. They were he, his carry-on. Yeah. No. <laughs> I have no idea. Can't, can't. He checked them. He checked them. Checked that shit. Nope. And so we just chugged Carry dildos. On two flats of beer. It's all it was got. great. It really added to the, uh, the trip. They were good, too. They were delicious. Yeah. All right. Now the fun ones. Actually, that Tim one was my favorite. No, I don't no. want to hear anything bad about you. I don't have the patience. I Ski do. Bum 1230, titled Wanye Jr., five stars, huh. gets into a long-winded thing about if Crawford and Wanye Jr. get married, is it more William Kate or Meghan Harry <gasps> in terms of royal wedding oh, of the nation? Wow. wow. <sighs> he said, Wanye Jr. is way too cool to be William. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so there's a compliment. Wait, um, Harry's cooler than William? Oh, yeah. He did run around the end of the couch this weekend and fill his pants with excrement in the blink of an eye. Who, William or Wanya Jr.? Wanya Jr. Oh. And now there are two parts of the carpet I would not recommend standing on. Well, last week I was in the shower and Crawford's playing in the room and all I hear is, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> and she 
filled her diaper but decided to put her hand in there to check and she's coming up to me with just uh, two hands full of poo that's when you're just saying, get uh oh in here. uh oh and i just grabbed <laughs> get, her and threw get, her in the shower with me get in here yeah. this is disgusting yeah, i chucked her in the shower with me excessive amounts of water to help with this yeah. problem <laughs> yeah. uh oh so, i did the same yeah. thing with tyler that's a last weekend in vancouver i hope if they do wed they've learned more toilet habits by kids learn we hope they evolve kids learn yeah. from their parents so like where did she see uh oh from did you wake uh oh! You have a couple uh ohs uh, around the house. That's a good button. Uh, I might say uh oh a lot. I'm trying <laughs> to think with her. If she does them now. She's like uh oh. Oh, that's good. Uh, he continues on and says, oh, "Where was I?" He Here. goes from that to you suck. I think yeah. it'd be Harry. I so think it'd be more Harry and Meghan. Though. It goes. Wanya Junior is way too cool to be William. On a completely unrelated note, is there any way to permanently replace your Remchuk with Gavin and or Kennedy? His ego has become too big for a podcast of this nature. <laughs> uh, yeah, That's, yeah. What? I've been I've been feeling the same way. Word on the street. Yeah, <laughs> the streets are talking. Uh. It keeps going. <laughs> no, 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 no. What does it say? It keeps going. Oh. Chalmers and Wanye have somehow gotten funnier. Ah. I don't know how that's possible. When Jay isn't talking about Evan Bouchard, I actually find him very likable. BM <laughs> is as solid as ever. P.S. Lane Peterson is the bishop. When I was gone, oh. did you guys tell people to leave reviews that were bad about me? Never. No. Now I'm starting no. to think this might have Never. been a mess. No, hey, hey, hey. Take no. your tinfoil cap off. They just don't okay. like you. No, yeah, when you're gone, we just talk about you, Tyler. Uh. If so, fact so. I respect he brought Your the bishop. Ego is too big for this studio. Yeah. I respect he brought the bishop into it. Uh, Who's the bishop? I had a play dream one night that there was a new oiler that we all called the bishop, and all our memes had a chess piece in them. Mm. And then my dream it was so funny that I woke up and wrote down the bishop and underlined it a bunch of times. Well, whoever ends up being like the amazing chess move acquisition, we will then the give bishop. Them that title. How come there's not but it's more not funny, but bishops in my dream. out there? I don't know. It's single. I'm trying to think of a single bishop. bishop. No, but that its nickname is the bishop. In my dream. Oh, what is a bishop? It's a chess piece. Mm -hmm. Religious figure. Priest. Church thing. Oh. Next review comes in from Double Chin. Very short and sweet. Five stars. Titled Tyler sucks. <laughs> uh, the review says Tyler is hard to listen to. Tbh. Oh, that's the whole thing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, <laughs> at least he's being honest. Maybe he doesn't like all the piss conversation you like to bring to this. Yeah, okay. Uh, the next one actually gave us one star. Oh, oh let's go. <laughs> Good, but not great. Gloves are off. Good, but not great. Would be a great podcast if Tyler wasn't involved. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Couldn't give us five stars in that, that, then that singer? Come on. Just annoying and pretentious. No respect for anyone but himself. Oh. Hey, to defend Tyler, <laughs> he's, he's the guy that has the $1 meal night at his house. He is not a pretentious dude. Are you crying with laughter so or defending you? Both eyes. You yeah, see that thank you. I appreciate welcome. that. You made him cry. And piss is free. <sighs> to Tyler's defense. So I don't think he's pretentious. Wanye bagged milk and JR very well could have helped with the renovations, and they did not. Yes. You know who did? A guy who was willing to strap up his, 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 his um, steel toe boots, yep. tuck on his hard hat, brought a lunch, and he got to work with me. Well, Chalmers, so, for know. all the reasons why you Tyler like Tyler on the work site, you would hate me. So that's why. Chalmers, you yeah, specifically I've told worked. me last project you never wanted to work with me. <laughs> yeah. Again. So oh, you remember that. I'm honoring your yeah, request. Maybe, you know, think about those four fingers pointing back at you when you're pointing at us. Okay. That's a good point. Yeah, that's true. Right. You know what? I got shit to do. I, will. <laughs> <laughs> I got wine to drink. I will. Four Concede fingers pointing back, point. Jay? Well, yeah, well, isn't that what they always What's say? What's the thumb doing? How do Three. I get the thumb yeah, to well, point Well, fuck. Everybody, Maybe you're pointing like you don't your got thumb. That, you don't got that backwards bendy thumb? Yeah, but point ahead, and your thumb is actually pointing ahead also, so it's really just three fingers pointing back. All right, then three, man. How many fights? It's one, two. You don't have six fingers? I don't know anybody that does. I'm on set. <laughs> Someone <laughs> left a one-star review for the DFO rundown and just titled it Frank Saravalli. <laughs> 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 Someone else also left a good five star review for Nation Real Life, but like I think they were hammered when they did it. Oh yeah. Well then read it. Read it. Well, like that's gonna be the best one. Well, like what? It's about a different. Read it phonetically as like does it not spelled. make sense? No matter what you, what's the what do you call the at and sign? Ampersand. 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 No matter what you ampersand hashtag thirty nine semicolon r e looking for in a podcast. You won ampersand hashtag 39. This is, is formatting that you're reading, by yeah. the way. Continue. It's just all messed up. Can you uh, just think approximate? That's swearing? Is that a swear? Can you no. translate? It seems like whenever they put like a 
Apostrophe. Apostrophe. It's just this whole run it's of ASCII characters. code. Yeah. So anyways, it says, no matter what you're looking for in a podcast, you won't find it here. Oh, ah. I thought this was a good one. <laughs> Five stars? <laughs> yeah. Yes. But it's absolutely worth listening to the wild tangents that the guys find themselves in. This ain't a hockey podcast, and Liar. that's all right by me. It could be talk about a piss wizard. Thank goodness I never saw that on Tom Tom. <laughs> Golf or a day in the life of the host. I find myself dropping what I'm doing on Mondays and Thursdays to listen to real life. Thank you, gentlemen. Well, well that's that, very nice. Hey, this is a top 50 hockey podcast ranked in Canada. Wasn't Tom Tom like a GPS? Yeah, that was yes. Christopher Palmer, actually. It's also so, that was Christopher Palmer. Yes, figure out your phone, Chris. He's been traveling. Well, he's got the Air Canada hookup. No, oh, he come out. Hey, bag milk. Remember Pokey Reddick? Mm-hmm. If this wasn't a hockey podcast, why would I have just brought him up? Do you remember Pokey Reddick's first name? Eldon. Yeah, you did. Why would we be talking about this if it's not a hockey podcast? We wouldn't. We would not. Wouldn't have the platform. Wouldn't Wouldn't even come up. Eldon Reddick. You do good on Puck Doku today, Jay? Oh, I haven't even looked at I it. Looked hockey at podcast. It. I, so I if anyone plays Puck Doku, I was the goat on Saturday. You really were. My uniqueness Stunning. was two. Stunning. Fucking two. My highest player is 1%. Everyone else was point something. It was remarkable. I actually took your group, your screenshot and sent it into my other group chat pretending it was me because nobody believed it off the jump. I was like, ah. <laughs> oh, oh man, I could. I was just, I was in the, have my morning coffee just looking at it. I'm like, oh, this one, like I've got ideas for this one. And it was, I was text like weird. Yeah. And then you went, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, to celebrate. So what is the uniqueness number between? Well, it's a percentage based on the, like, it's like a, 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 a bell curve are. or whatever, based on the oh. amount of players that are selected, how it ranks percentage wise. So if there's a thousand players selected and you, or fuck, how do I, my uniqueness scores just keeps going up. No, no. So say, yeah, so, yeah, but yeah, out of a hundred percent, they'll say 20% pick this guy, 0.2% oh, right. pick this person. So you want to get the, like the most unique, you want to keep that score down. If you put an answer that was 0.1%, your score would barely go up. Yeah. Oh or yeah, out. and then it, like then I sometimes can always get the right side. Like right today's right side is eighty plus points in a single season. I can get those. Yeah, but I don't know can why you get I unique have... ones. Mm. Like See, I that's got... where I struggle. Like you, mine are the you, 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 always. You want help for the uh, Colorado Avalanche one? Did you get a good Colorado Avalanche one? Eighty mm. point season. I just put Ranton in because I thought I everyone too. else would pick McKinnon. He was pretty low. He was no, crazy. I'm gonna put Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Now Reese. Now try and do this. What about what about my what about what about Stasny? Anton Stasny. Ooh, that's a good point. Peter's bro. You got 80 plus points. For the Nordiques. For the Canes, I decided to go Whalers. And I yes. was like, Ray Ferraro, no one's going to guess that. But he, his best seasons were 77 and 78. Oh! So it ruined See, my day. I haven't, I I haven't so thought, of, like, I, 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 I've only got like two into it. Because sometimes like I look at it, if it doesn't mesh, I just do the ones I think I can do good at and just sit back and wait. Yeah, reset. And then sometimes I forget and then sometimes I fuck up and then I don't, and then I just end it. What are your percentages? You put three players in. And what were the players? I got Miguel Ranton at 11%. Oh, my God. Ray Whitney for the Hurricanes at 4%. That's not bad. And then St. Louis, I just went chalk. Brett Hall, 30%. Oh, jeez. Well, yeah, then, like... I can't, I don't... Like, the goal is uniqueness, bro. I But I don't know anybody else. I bet you if you sat and thought hard... Right. That's the thing. Like, if you just... There are some yeah. nation guys, like, across the network um, where they'll just have it open on their computer all day, and they'll just... Sit and think yeah, you just kind of yeah, and then like when you take a breather to kind of st- stare away from your computer, you just think you about pay them how much to do this. <laughs> oh, too much. <laughs> just sit Arguably, at their computers. I got you. I got. A, I got. A, you know what? Put this name in for uh, St. Louis and Vancouver. Okay, Sergio Mameso. Shut up. No way. Yeah, guaranteed. Three percent. Oh fuck! I thought it'd be better than that. Three percent. I don't even know who that is. Damn. Sergio Colorado, Mameso? Vancouver. That should be an easy. What does one. that even mean? I don't even understand what so the hell is going on. It's like a, a Sudoku for, for both teams. Uh, they they, 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 they played for both. Think, <laughs> and remember, the Avalanche were the Nordiques. So that I actually didn't tell you what I thought that was. I actually think Wanya would do really because you're so good at remembering obscure Oilers. Only Oilers though. But, but, that's but how sometimes I play. though, you use that as like your like your basis to like. Yeah, build it, build it with because like okay, well this I know this Oilers played for the Hawks, and like you you can kind of use the Oilers if as like your starting oil ground. Doku, I could do that one. So well, anytime see, there's Oilers, I, it's and yeah, I, just, we can I keep took it a below. shot and I thought that Stan Makita might have played for the St. Louis Blues. Oh my God, which dude! He, did not. he he only ever played for Chicago. <laughs> yeah, well, how would I know that? <sighs> fair enough. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, episode 512 of the Real Life Podcast is brought to you by Wilhawk Beef Jerky. If you're looking to get your beef jerky fixed, you already know where to go. You've heard me do this ad read so many times, you know you can go to Leduc, 
Spruce Grove, or their kiosk in West Edmonton Mall, which bag milk is right by entrance. I don't know. You're 44. The, you're the entrance guy. <laughs> entrance 44. Who still uses entrances at the mall? Yeah, you got to tell me like water park. By the Ice Palace. There you Why go. are you not reading the review RIP Piss Wizard? I missed one. Can you read it? Yes. They abandoned me on Fremont Street even after I dazzled them with my manifesting a king can of thin air trick. Yet I come back week after week. Probably the only reason to stay sane in the off season, stay oily and long live the piss wizard. That is a five-star review from Sergeant Battle. He's a good guy. He was he was a fun part of that nation vacation to Vegas. And you ditched him? Uh, maybe. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. You kind of get lost in Fremont. Example, I probably Fremont did. State. I probably ditched myself from Listen, everyone. Listen, if I'm there. on Fremont, I am the wind, man. You're looking you up. You're looking up. You're looking down. You're, looking down. you're getting dazzled by the lights, mm-hmm. by the dinging. What's the Fremont of Seattle going to be? When We've is- launched. We launched the trip. When are we going? We're already twenty percent sold. Wow. Really? Yes. Wow. I am so happy and excited. Okay. And just we're planting a seed. Dan is working hard here because we got a lot of interest from people that live in Vancouver. Don't want to come, so we're working on a no flights package for people that live in Vancouver to come and join us. And how do you think they're going to walk across the border? Not necessarily Vancouver, just, just anyone that's kind of around that vicinity. I heard there's someone in Coeur d'Alene. That's We've cool. actually heard a couple. I knew Tyler and I got DM'd uh, yeah. on X.com about it. I got a couple on Instagram, Better. so that'd be good. We would have gone bigger numbers, but there was only some, like the flights were so limited, so we can oh. we can actually get more tickets to the game and to the Seahawks game. When are we so, going? November. November. 10th. 10th to 13th. So here's the deal on the 10th trip. To 12th. It's up 12th at nationgear.ca right now if you want to check it out. The Nation Vacation to Seattle, November 10th. And this is what your trip includes. We leave Edmonton, 5.45 p.m. Mountain Time. Don't even miss a day of work. Don't even miss a day of work. We land in Seattle that night. You got your flight paid for. We're staying at the Four Points by Sheraton in downtown Seattle. You're getting three nights in that hotel. That three two, nights, baby. That $19.99 price is based on double occupancy. Saturday, November 11th, game day experience. We are going to Climate Pledge Arena to watch Seattle Edmonton. November 12th, another game day experience. 12th man. Of the NFL variety. We're going to Lumen Field to watch Seattle. To get illuminated. Sam Howell. Sam Howell. Mm-hmm. All of this for $19.99. Mm-hmm. How, how do you do it for $20? <laughs> and that then we get back Monday, holiday Monday, though. Don't miss a single day of work. Do not miss a single day of work, and you would arrive back in Edmonton at 2.50 uh, p.m. It's like it never even happened. Direct boy, flight home? Direct flight home. Our boy Not Rick direct is, flight there. Just for, but it does, yeah, that shouldn't matter. Rick has already lined up all of the casinos near where we'll be staying, in case we want a couple of spins. Shout out to Rick. Shout out Unfortunately, to Rick. there's no Taco Bell Cantina. We already no. did that research, but yeah. we will find something different. We will have a good time. That is what we will have. You go to the Pike Market and take a trout to the head. I'm definitely going to do that. They throw I'm a absolutely fish. I was there. That. Yeah, yeah. A thousand percent. I want to go see that. Take yep. a giant salmon to the grill. Do they? Still I, want, do I might the buy. Market? I want to buy a fish so they throw it at me. Cool. And see if I can catch it. And then just go throw it back in the ocean. Yeah. I was. Yeah. Got it's it dead. Clean. I guess you're feeding maybe a seal. Yeah. Goes to the economy, Jay. The animal. You just economy. carry. You just carry it around all day, just eating it raw. <laughs> Just a little yeah. level from time Bring to it time. to the game. Oh. Like, <laughs> drape it around your shoulders like Britney Spears with that snake. It's kind of what JR smells I've been watching like a lot of, uh, of a trip anyways. You know. Oh, I've been you know. Uh, hotel <laughs> chefing. Good. I'll just hotel chef it in the room, in the sink. Hey, yeah. fun experiment. Yeah. I don't hate that. Mm-hmm. Wasn't there uh, a guy cooking roommate. fish in the coffee pot and stuff? Yeah, that's the same guy. Yeah. Me and Tyler send that guy back and forth sometimes. He made ribs in the last video I watched. In the hotel coffee pot. Yep, using the hair dryer and a uh, pillowcase. Did he go to? Was he in wow. prison for an extended period? That hair tie does time? not get hot. He's enough, too resourceful. Well, he left for the being ribs on, the on for about twelve hours. It's more of like a hot People air suit almost. How does he not blow? Does he stay in the room the whole how time? How does a hair dryer have that kind of how capacity? Not- <laughs> People are not going to let him stay at other hotels anymore <laughs> That's for risk right. of burning the place down. <laughs> That's right. What an idiot this guy is! You know he's, he knows he's not in jail, right? Like That's what I said. He he's can- too resourceful. He must have been in jail. No, he well, the hotel we had in Vancouver, you could have made a 38 course meal with all the yeah. three people could have fit in this in the tub yeah three people could have two fit in, the fridge. in the fridge yeah yeah it was a big fridge what, had like a sub- it, was, it was like it was a nordic spa just step out of the tub hop into the fridge that's where we made sales guy jared sleep <laughs> <laughs> i asked the lady at the front desk when we were checking in if there was three of us that could fit in the tub because we were three in the room boy did she have a good chuckle about it this is probably the funniest it. thing she'd ever heard yeah just want to make sure could have done it did we ever tell you about when we were on a football trip and one of our friends, we went to a hotel and it had a big banister. You know what a banister is? Like a railing yep. 
big staircase down the middle. Drew and, Bannister, and, and former ra- oiler? Yeah, and the, and the Bannister was very long, and he slid down it and somehow Busley. lost his cell phone. And in the morning, he Well, he, does, he doesn't remember how he lost his cell phone. He doesn't remember he how he lost his cell phone. He woke up losing his cell phone. Yeah. Got to the front desk, asked if they had a cell phone. Well, the cell phone was there, but came with a report <laughs> from the night maintenance guy. We had a, one day, like Doug or something, right? Doug, I think his uh, name was... Or Bob or something. Yeah, it was something You think cr- you can find it in the group? A real I, night maintenance guy name, though. I'm pretty sure I could find it because it Bob, is... Bob, you're in, Chuck. Maybe. Bill. Oh, no. Well, I could probably find it. I should have found it before I started the story. Yes. Um, <laughs> where was it ever? In our fantasy football group chat. Uh, it should have been, yeah. This okay. is in Cleveland, one of my favorite places this in the world. This is in Cleveland. So he gets the report, and it says, at 2.27 a.m., I witnessed a male slide down the banister, <laughs> thusly losing his phone. <laughs> Period. That's that, the report. That's the whole report. That's the whole report. I thought it was going to come with, like, uh, the banister's, like, ruined. I think, no. I think there's a little bit more color to it, though. I think a little bit. Well, like, no. leading up to, like, maybe maybe the fact that he was drunk, I can't remember. But the thusly was used, and that's the that's the punchline. <laughs> thusly, like falling off and losing his phone or something, because he didn't land. He didn't stick the I don't landing. Think he stuck the he landing. He fell <laughs> on the landing, thusly losing his phone. <laughs> Drunk guys being dudes, you know. Just the things that happen on trips, lifelong memories. Yeah, <laughs> not for him, of course. He didn't remember any of it. Well, he's got that report now. It's yeah, documented. Yeah, God for the report. If only somebody was always reporting. Yeah, that's why you file a report for everything you do. Mm-hmm. We have an update on the bids for the Oilers Nation I found Open. it. Okay. Oh, yes. Read this then. Mark the Painter turned Mark this in. Mark the Painter, yes! Said it belonged to someone who slid down the bas- banister in the public square doors area and thusly dropped the item. <laughs> Thusly dropped. Me. Mark the painter. Very that. honest of Mark. I forgot. <laughs> Very honest man, that Mark. Uh, can he do wallpaper? Oh, any is he, painter could do wallpaper. Is he Mark the wallpaper guy? He's he's guaranteed does more than just painting. He also, yeah, Thusly. All right. Okay, update on the bid coming after the break. Oh, suspense. All right, we got an update on the bid, and Tyler and Liam's team has not moved. Oh, no. We have a new bid on Jay and Chalmers. Woo! Oh, no. I am happy to report Jay and Chalmers, your bid is up to $1,100. Yes. Here we go. It's a big one. It's a new bidder. I've never seen him bid on uh, any of our golf items before, but he is up to 1100 This thing is going to close next, or this Friday. This it Friday. Is this Friday. At one o'clock Mountain Time okay. is when the final bids. We need, need more to be of in. our videos going up. I have an email list with everyone who is emailed and asked to be included on this. So again, I will send some emails in the next. Well, people days. want to email saying, "Kate, okay, we're closing. Here's your last chance." Yeah. Ah. Let's get a do, quick. Can we say who's bidding, or are we keeping it a secret? Uh, there's Ian. There's Ryan. Cody's expressed interest. Amar's been in the mix. There's. But who's got the winning bid on us? Ian. Is it my boy? Have I told is the Ian story? From the Fantasy Football League. We need to talk about that also. I want to know if this is Ian, the guy who saved me and sa- sales guy Jared's life in Victoria. It, his email is. Is it Ian Sommerhalder from Lost? Or is it Ian Zeering? Oh, Ian Zeering. Sharknado 10 coming out. Is no. it? No. Yeah. Sharknado's at episode 10? You fucking read it. Is. Holy Christ. Oh, my story about being saved by Ian? Yeah. Well, yeah. I want to know how he saved your life. Was there a Sharknado? Well, it was an Ubernado. We took an Uber from the airport to our meeting. And it was in this neighborhood. So we had to meet this. Uh, we we're doing a sales guy, Jared. I were doing a pitch me. We had to meet at the guy's house because he hurt his back. So we just hung out in his backyard. <laughs> and we went and just grabbed some stuff from this local cafe. Had a nice chat. It's 49,000 degrees outside. Yeah. And so we go back to the cafe saying, okay, this is a landmark. We'll go and order the Uber from there. Uber must have just gotten there. So there's no Ubers, like no Ubers to be found, like not even a car on the screen. So then you, then we're trying to scramble and call a taxi from this place. 
And we're like, hey, can we, like, and you call, and it's like, leave a message with where you're at, and we'll call you back. What on earth? We're like, oh, my God. Like, and, like, we've got another ferry to make. Like, everything's kind of tight. And Is uh, this the inconvenient taxi company you're calling? Yeah, we called, like, three. And then Jared's like, oh, I got this app for this one that's got service here. And, like, they're, like, two hours. We're like, oh, my God. Like, are we actually going to be stuck in Victoria? Sure as shit, this guy's just standing in the corner outside of this cafe. He's like, hey, man, like. Couldn't help but overhearing. I'm literally listening to your podcast right now. Um, what? I heard you guys are having a tough time getting uh, needing a cab. Do you want to ride? Just hold on. A nation real life listener heard your voices in Victoria while listening to real life and knew who you were. Yeah, like he was like literally standing ten feet from us. And I'm like, oh my god! I'm like, dude, if you could, that would be huge. He's like, yeah, where are were you going? Were you impressed? With this I story? was shocked and like, I was just like, it's, this must be how the weekend feels. It was like uh, such a relief. Be a bullshit alarm so, over there, uh, Bag Milk. His name's Ian. Uh, <laughs> great guy. Gave us a ride uh, and literally saved our day. Else, we might still be in uh, Victoria. Still, right now, two weeks later. Two weeks later, <laughs> stuck <laughs> waiting for an Uber. Wait, that's that, a very that, surprising if that's story. That's the same Ian. We will make his time an extra special. I don't think it is. This him. this Ian has his. Well, I want I wanted that Ian Victoria Ian to at least hear that. Well, then that's very three. grateful. That's oh, and I also unbelievable. Said, Ian, we need to. I we you DM us because I owe you something. I said I was going to give you something. You have to DM us because I only know you as Ian, and I know what your car looks like, and I could go hunt you down in Victoria, well, but we can make this a lot easier. So if you're another DM. Ian looking to impersonate this Ian, you yep. get free stuff from Jay. Uh, don't we'll ask for pictures. There's of your no car. way two Ian's car. listen to this yeah. show. Yeah. There's no way. It's at least three that if I. If you are Ian Zirin, congrats on Sharknado Ten. <laughs> what an unexpected gift to your wallet. Amen. This series has been for the <laughs> golf tournament. Um, status update: I played this weekend. Oh, I need to practice. Um, absolutely throwing darts. Oh, let's go! So Hear that up the, the bid. Fifteen hundred dollars. Prime time fashion right now. Uh, so. We're going to ride this wave. Let's go. How have you been playing? I haven't played since oh my God. mid-July. Do you even care? We should get an early morning round in maybe. Uh, we've been saying that for years. We should. Uh, I might be playing in a golf tournament on Tuesday. That's tomorrow. You probably should know Next that. Tuesday? Okay. <laughs> I was going to say. I really need to go to the range. Really okay. need to go to the well, range. There's a bunch. So but, you know, it's, you know it. as long as I hit one in ten good, then that's all the team needs. So that I can do. Okay, well... One of us is going to be in fight and shape uh, when it comes golf time, so we will I'll not be better. lose to the Eurepter. Are we going to put a little bit, a little side action? On yes, the- we yes. should go. Yes, just yes. like Phil. Yes, yeah, yeah. same same level <laughs> as you, Phil too. Did you hear <laughs> Phil and Bryson? So funny. <laughs> what you can press after nine, but you can only press for half because you got to win the match. To he win goes. The- Phil goes. Hey, Bryson, they're going to play. They meet on the first tee. And he goes. So, have you thought about what we're going to play about? Have you thought about what we're going to play for? Bryson goes. No, I didn't really think about it. He goes. You haven't thought about it. Literally, like, what are you thinking about? Okay, this is what it's going to be. And he just goes like, $1,000 a hole, $5,000 at this point. You can only press it this way. And he gives like 10 rules, like like this. Just shoots them off. Bryce is like, okay, okay. I had never seen somebody get alpha so much. Better. Bryce was like, yep, I, I, yes, sounds good. I was just expecting him to be like, can you keep track on the card? Because I, I have win. no idea okay. what well, you just said. I'll play any game as long as someone else is willing to That's keep score. Because some man. of those games get so technical. Yeah. You ever played Vegas? Nope. Uh, it's a lot of ticks. A lot of ticks. You ever played NASA? No nope. unlimited ticks. presses. Oh. And when you play with me, I press a lot. Yeah. If I lose, I press. <laughs> There's the a chance to I press. Don't like he press. My, presses my drinks. <laughs> you don't like that? I've taken to it. Have you? Yeah. It's just like more ice. Just put more ice. It's kind Could of do. like a quasi press. Could do. Just take like a little, little soda in there. It's nice. <laughs> okay. So. I want to know more about this game of bones you were playing on the weekend. Mm. And the, the, your Dominoes? team name was Boners or something, right? Yeah, so uh, it's a game called Banak. Yes. I think it was... Ankles, it, I think it, Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's artificial horse ankles. Uh-huh. And the way the game is played... <laughs> Allegedly. Yeah. So <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you playing this on. game in the wild, wild west? That's the, like, the first time he told me about this game. I'm like, what fucking year is it? Are we yeah. in Middle Earth? It's just like the same people that tried to get... They were like horseshoes off the ground and they were like we got all these horse ankles what are we Pretty doing much. with them yeah. Kind well, of, yeah they're inedible so they're kind of lined up like this this is half the setup okay so there are two red ones on the outside and then 20 white ones in the middle i already give up i know but just bear with me through. <laughs> and each team or sorry there's eight of like kind of the black ones right 
or there's eight black ones. So you start, you throw side to side, team goes first, another team has hammer, and you need to knock down the red ones first. Once those are down, you can start knocking down all the ones in the middle. And so you're trying to knock the same ones together. Trying to knock as many down as quick as your team possibly can. Okay. So, and these horse ankles, artificially, artificial horse ankles, Allegedly. not real. Not real, ankles. they're fake. Allegedly. <laughs> they look like compressed mini bones, so they look yep. like they will bounce in all types of directions. Oh, yeah, it's frustrating. Because you can just put is. one right in front and it'll skip somewhere That's weird. That's knock, buddy. So there's tournaments <laughs> in Banach, Camrose, <laughs> Bashaw, <laughs> Beggarville, <laughs> Grand Prairie. There's a circuit. Yeah. Uh, the world championships are in Macklin, Saskatchewan, which is home to the largest Banach bone. Obviously. <laughs> Fucking guy. So it's fun. You just go and you camp and whatever. It You'll... sounds amazing, actually. Poor people from Macklin being like, what's your town? Oh, they, lo- they love <laughs> well, it. They got they the largest it. artificial bone. I bet one you, I bet you that's one third of their Banach. economy. So I like to think of myself as like a decent, like I'm good at these kinds of games. Right? I'm good at cornhole and whatnot. Ego. But this game, yeah. Uh, yeah, now I see what the now I see what the, I see what the readers you know, hearing. As I said it, I was like, mm. <laughs> I understand. The, I understand. Yeah. I just called them readers too. <laughs> I understand what the audience but this is game's hearing. It's funny because yeah. like it's me, Amber, and then our friends. And we'll go head to head against like two grandparents and their 12 year old grandkids. The one girl was like eight and they smoked us. <laughs> and it's like, how did that happen? And then you'll play like a team of people in their 30s and you'll smoke them. And like, it's just kind of funny how it works. I think the team that won this last weekend probably had an average age of like 68 to 72. And they just went Well, and called. that's what you're. I think age they won, of your spirit is. Yeah, 200 bucks a team to enter. I think the team that won took home like 1,200 bucks. They better declare that on their taxes. Yeah, yeah. line so, forty. It's fun. You just go and you camp and you play nine games on Saturday, and then the playoffs are on Sunday. Any type of uh, a lot of these kind of like backyard games come with a drink rule where you have to like have one in your hand. No, or is this one? It's not, a family this is, affair. This is a free, free and clear. I like yeah. it. Okay, it's pure. Um, so yeah, pure it was game. a lot of fun. You just go throw bones, play nine. Twelve hundred bucks ain't pure, son. That's heavy pressure. I thought that you were talking about dominoes. That's what people call boat. Like, mm, that's what. Yeah, no. There I, was fifty-two teams, I think, in the tournament. And the top six teams won money. That's cool. Yeah, I kind of want to, like, in the name of doing, like, a summer fun event yeah. for the nation, for Oilers Nation specifically. We should get all of these games. We should do a lawn bowling tournament. Yeah, you just sent a video, right? And I forget what it is now, but you were like, we need to do this for a nation event. Oh, oh. that's when we go to Arizona. Pickle. It was a pickleball bar. What? It's like a, it's it's like like a top golf. Top golf for pickleball. For pickleball. Hell yeah. There's one in Arizona, but it's all the way out in Glendale. It was beautiful. But it looks it looked amazing. Like, it looked like a And it's got every game in there. So many games. Like a sports bar with TVs everywhere, with like an awesome food buffet, I guess you would call yeah, it. Yeah. Like, yeah. And then just pickleball courts everywhere. It, it looked super cool. Just, but like, that's the kind of thing. Like, this is something I've never heard of, this big game. But it'd be and so fun. To have a tournament of 52 teams. No, it's so much fun. That means there was like, like 200 some people there. I think. Where do you find stuff like this? Like, where do you even hear about this? So it started the first year I graduated high school that summer. My buddy John, his family had been going to the one in Bashaw for like a decade. They found out about it from a family friend. So then I entered a team along with him and our other friend, my buddy Eli. And then Eli explained the game to his parents. And they were like, holy shit, that's unbelievable. So now they're (laughs) obsessed with it. And they started a little crew, the Skeleton like Boners. Yeah. Because they have a cabin out on Skeleton Lake. So everyone has gets their own skeleton like boner shirt with your own nickname on the back. So mine was Oily Boner. <laughs> Very tough to grab onto. Fitting. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, he thinks he's so funny. That, that pretentious your M Chuck. <laughs> it's like, that's, that's once you hear it, you can't unhear it. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's going to be a problem. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but, but like that would be such a fun thing to just go as like camp. take it like the three on three tournament so much fun I, I think the reason that it isn't as busy as I expect it to be something like that is because what three on three pe- tournament like what? the one in Jasper that we go to every year oh the pond, pond hockey pond hockey tournament yeah. sorry it's not three on three pond hockey whatever well I don't know he lost me pond I'm hockey. the reader the pond hockey tournament that I we go it. to is a very cool event that I just don't think people hear about enough. I know. We want to blow it up. They want we us do. to blow it up. We just but, need to think about how we want to blow it up. All this stuff. I can't believe at 43 years old, I'm still learning about new games. I learned about a new card game called 19 today, yes, last weekend that I had never heard of. I can't even explain to you how to play, but you just try to get rid of all your cards. It's like a mixture of asshole and crazy eights, and it's a whole thing, and it's so much fun. And, like, the kids could play. We had a great time, but I was just... And now I hear about Binoc, I'm like... 
These are two games I've never heard of. I just what found out about a there? children's game that I love, Ticket memory. to Ride. Oh, my God. Ticket to Ride is awesome. It's the best. You got me hooked on it's it. It's the best. You played Ticket to Ride, Bag Milk? I've never no. played that. Oh, yeah. yeah. If you got a love for laying We've track. also been playing this new game called Sequence. I love Sequence. Sequence is great. I've played that it's like It's new to me. It. It's probably, it's super probably old. That's a huge Bag Milk family game. Yeah, it same. is so much fun. And great. like my nine-year-old is really good at it. And so like that shows you that you can be any age and play this game at like yep. a fa- and you just waste hours. So much fun. It's oh, man. Nothing better than being just out at like a cabin and just playing games. Oh. Crib, sequence. Maybe night. a cold one if you're lucky. Warm oh. all day and then maybe piss and rain at night. Yep. You're just like hunkered yep. in and yeah. Yeah, so that you get a little bit of cool in the in the cabin. Yeah. Oh. We went paddle boarding, uh not paddle boarding, paddle boating to go fishing. And we were out so far that I'm not gonna lie to you, Jay. I was a little nervous. Why did you go so far? Because to get to the depth, we needed oh. to get past the weed bed and the depth. Yeah. Me and my son are like 250, 250 feet out, probably. Uh-huh. I was, but we, we, man, poor kid. I just wanted him to catch something so bad, but I caught two. No chumming. Kicked his ass. That's Absolutely good. Dominated. He's gotta learn. Yep. Yep. But gotta learn. Yeah, gotta man. So it just feels like we're getting to the point now in the summer where it feels like everything's about to start happening. Football, school, hockey, everything is coming. It's on the horizon. Baseball playoffs. How are our Jays doing? Uh, they're half a game back of a wild card spot right now. So They're melting, aren't they? I wouldn't even... They just won two or three against Cincy. So Dude. they're not melting. They just haven't... I feel like every good baseball team at some point in the season goes on like one of those runs, right? Where it's like, holy shit, this team's won like nine in a row or something like that. They just haven't. They haven't won nine in a row, but they haven't lost nine in a row. They've just been like, win two, lose two, win three, lose two, win two. Lose so five. I think an easy way, because like I like to get into baseball and playoffs. Like yeah, it's really hard fair. to follow the whole season. It's very, uh-huh. you know, monotonous and it's long. Give me three things, three quick things that I want to look for coming into playoffs. Like the Baltimore Orioles are the best team in baseball. They are. Um, they don't have the best record in baseball, but vibes wise, they're number one. Yeah, best team in the American League. They they have not been swept in a series since they called up Adley Rutschman last August. Like they're just unbelievable. It's crazy. To All see time vibes guy. Out. Yeah, switch hits at the home run derby. Yeah. So <laughs> Baltimore wow, like is suddenly good. Which if you haven't paid which attention, cool. if which you haven't paid cool. attention cool to the sport in a year, you'd be like, whoa, that's crazy. Uh, the Yankees are junk, like terrible. They've lost nine in a row. They're 17 back of the division. It's hilarious. Injuries? No. Nope. Too much money. Red yeah. Sox went through kind of something like this the last couple of years, didn't they? Yeah. And now they're in the hunt. They're behind the Jays, though. Um, so Baltimore, if you're if you're a, one of those people who's like, oh, I love getting into the Jays when the games start to matter more. Um, yeah, they're not catching Baltimore. They're fighting for a wild card spot with the Mariners and the Astros now, actually. And yeah, Hunjin Ryu's back for the Jays. And he's like dynamite all of a sudden after his Tommy John surgery. Alec Manoa is probably not going to pitch for the rest of the year. Um, True or false? We had a guy hit 103 on the gun, two pitches in a row. Yeah, yeah. so it's actually funny. Ellie De La Cruz struck out twice in the last two games. He struck out facing Jordan Hicks. It was 103, 101, 103 on the inside. Got him looking. The next game, Hunjin Ryu got De La Cruz looking with a 67-mile-an-hour <laughs> curveball. That just, like, it was halfway to the plate, and De La Cruz was like, son of a bitch. Like, you could tell he's just like, oh. It was nasty. It was super nasty. Cool. I love baseball. I, I'm looking forward to getting into baseball. That's always yep. it's always fun. Baseball, yep, when it baseball means is something fun. is so exciting. Yep. If you uh, want to get on the act, get in on the action with our friends over at Betway, you can certainly do that. The Jays to win the World Series this year are sixteen to one. Not bad. The Orioles all the way up to seven to one. By the way, what and, were they? What were they? Would have been like at the start of the season. Bet you the O's would have been like twenty five to one. <laughs> 30 to 1 even. Right like, whew, yeah, it would have been something. Uh, betting on the Jays to make the playoffs this year on Betway. They are minus 210 to make the playoffs. Mariners minus 175. Betting on the Astros to miss at 3 to 1 is actually pretty tempting too. But, um, anyways, there you go. There's your update on what's going on around baseball for our friends at Betway. 19 plus, please play responsibly. Responsibly. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm looking at hockey futures. That's what I'm doing. There's a couple I like. And I think collectively we're going to squad bet the Arizona Coyotes making the playoffs. I think we are too. Yes. Good value there. Yeah. Um, Yotes are 9-1 to one to make the playoffs. I don't hate the Blue Jackets to make the playoffs either. 
You don't East, think they will? I, I think, think they, I think they will. I think they're gonna announce they, they were ravaged last. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. So how are we know. all doing in uh, catching up with our season of? And I'm not gonna say Big Brother. Oh, Untold. All I've oh, seen is I I've seen episode Football. number one, the Jake Paul story. Obviously, number two, Johnny Manziel. We Johnny Football. We talked about that one. Number three, the Hall of Shame. The best. Yeah. All about I the Balco it. It, or Balco and Victor Conte. I yeah. love it, it. Was great. What is it? What is it? It's so all Vic, about steroids. Victor Conte had a, a company called Balco Laboratories, where he came up with designer supplements, like legit supplements, like legit yeah. supplements called Z O S N A Snack. SNAC yes. was the brand. And Z- so, ZMA was the big and one. And he got into like get some real high-profile athletes, but he started to get people asking him with his laboratory if he could design steroids that could be untraceable. And because he had a working laboratory and very good chemists... And he's not a doctor. And he's not a doctor. He did it. And he made these things. And then people wanted to now get a program because he could devise programs that they could use, when they could use it, how it could be untraceable. And they just tell the story of him and like hate him or love him, man. He found, he changed sports, that guy, like in a major way. Olympics, he took a guy and a lot of it revolves around this Tim Montgomery. And he was a 100 meter dash uh, runner. And he Tiny Tim. decided, yeah, Tiny Tim, 5'7", 140 pounds. And he decided that he wanted to try to break the world record and was very far off it. And then said to himself, and it widely admits, I didn't care. I wanted to break it. I wanted to see what I could do. It didn't matter what I took. And I mean, you see how it ends up. It's a crazy story. And, just, and then people seeing what this Tim Montgomery was doing and wanting it themselves and just who he, who he worked with. And he was 5'7", 300 pounds, 0% <laughs> body fat, and ran a 100-meter dash in six <laughs> seconds. Yeah. Yeah. And over a summer, this guy put on like 30 pounds of muscle. Yeah. And so, Damn. like, it's just, it's wild because, like, you all, I mean, we all the, knew it was happening, but it wasn't, the, this is, just tells the, uh, like, behind-the-scenes story. Now, there's How some they get funny caught, dealings there, yeah. It's just and the yeah. yeah. To be so smart, it? yeah. Watch to it. be so smart and then get caught like that is just so. But like stupid. But well, I don't want to ruin it. But yeah, no, there, there, there's yeah. Then there's the IRS agent who was also interesting and had his own super like, weird thing going on. It's a it's a fascinating story. It's a great story, and these untolds they have not disappointed. And like they're coming out every Sunday. The last one that just came out was Swamp Kings, which is that's, all about the Florida Gators. That's kind Herman of right Myers, away. the coach, Tim Tebow. I think it came out yesterday. Oh, did, okay. So I never, Sunday nights, I just. I binge. I also watched the Caitlyn Jenner one yesterday. Yeah. Just that story of the Olympics. Holy cow. That was cool. It's great. Uh, great forgot, What did you, uh, oh no, what did you think of Johnny Football? We haven't talked about that yet. You know what? He was never going to. He was never going to make it. He was never going to change. He was never going to make it. And that's... Well, that was, he, like, he's, he was never going to change. I don't think he has changed yet. No. Uh, well, it's, it seems like he's tried. He is. like He's like living the with his parents, essentially. The whole story is about how at the very end, he's still drinking, smoking dope, and like... He's still yeah. playing beer pong with his but I, think, I think that... I think that Dean... Like, he can't... Like, that's... That's that's him. But like, he... That's no, the totally. Thing. And that's why you can tell he was never going to change. No he's just a guy... He's a guy that, like, that is his priority, but he also has raw athletic talent yeah. yeah and i don't think that that raw athletic talent like you saw tim tebow who had the exact same kind of talent like the exact same kind of player make it to the nfl and work maybe harder than anybody in the building and he i think hit the ceiling of his success with winning an nfc championship and i don't believe he would have ever gotten better than that and johnny manzel i think he just New and like the fact that like the minute he made the end well that, that, once again don't want to get too I mean it's tough but, to spoil but the like I the, didn't know like I didn't know all the stories and how deep it really the fact went. that the year after he played his first season and completely changed so Texas A and M is going to a brand new conference the SEC which is the biggest conference in college football it's got all the big players in it they have to go there and if they do shitty it's going to be really bad for them. Johnny Manziel is the single reason why they do not do shitty. They actually excel. They get seven hundred million dollars in donations yeah. from boosters. They're still feeling his year. legacy of playing there they for built two years. A brand new stadium, a brand new facility on the backs of that season, and Johnny Manziel 
if, if saw this much if money, he of was it. if he was there, if the Nil era was it oh started while he was there, God. he would have made fifty million dollars a year for those two years. Yeah, Guaranteed. College, like, like I don't, I've never been to these places, but like Texas football is obviously huge, and like College Station, they say that Texas A and M is like the blue collar equivalent to like the white collar Texas Longhorns, like University of Texas. Right, so they have that type of rivalry already, and it's just, yeah, it's I mean, it's just you. super cool to watch how he then games the system with his buddy. Yep. I, there's the story of how he's getting flying around in all these jets was that his family was oil money rich. When his buddy's like, I made up a rumor that said he was rich, it was so well done. It was that moment watching that I realized it was wrong. I believed it, man. Like, I had always, I said to my wife, like 20 minutes before that moment, I'm like, you got to understand, like, he was rich. Like, his family was really rich. And all of a sudden, it's like, we made that up. And I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> How did this not come out? His grandpa's a G. That his grandpa cool. is a G. My did grandpa's he, a G. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, that was cool. So, no, it was, I thought the Johnny Manziel one was unbelievable. But, yeah, he was never, and now he's Man made, Brown's, I'm wearing a brown shirt right now. Every team you know did their fucking thing? homework. You didn't have to be that, do that much deep research. And, every, and find out. But I believe you're like, ah, Maybe he can turn around. Like he's got that raw ability. But, but that's where Jason knew pick. that they were hoodwinking whatever team took him. Oh, yeah. He knew and they for pulled a fact. It off. He's like, we just have to st- lock him in a room. But at the very lock end of all enough. of it, you find that Johnny Manziel is now opening a bar in College Station where Texas A&M yeah. is. And like, he's going to be just fine monetarily. Be, oh, yeah. He's but a legend. He can make so. a living doing autographs the rest of his life. This he time legally. Yeah. yeah, this time legally. He's a legend. So I thought they were great. I mean, the untold. I kind of want to get a number two time. Texas A&M jersey. Kind of want to. It'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Kind of drippy, as the kids say. A drip. Yeah. Anyways. I forgot we had this light on. This light's not supposed to be on. Is that light not supposed to be on? Ah, it's going to look a little more washed. Interesting thing to realize. Uh, so our, washed out. Hour minute forty five. So washed out. Oh, oh man! So what much better. Oh, that'll look so much better. People listening to this as a podcast. The, all the readers. Before all and readers. after light. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know if we need to talk about Big Brother. I think that it's starting to even bore me. A uh, bit of a show, dud so far, yeah. This show's a bit of a dud right now. I just don't well, understand. Some, like, they they should, I don't know the why they didn't like, flip the vote. They should have just That's what I don't get is they never is. do it. They never do it. They the always talk about it. They never garbage. do it. They always are good. The first couple weeks are good because who the hell is anybody? Yep. And then they make their alliances. Then it's boring for a long time. Boring. Until you get down to the chaos at the yep. end. Yep. It's just why they... They had people who wanted to flip the vote. They had everything. That, why don't they do it? Because I think, uh, oh, let's let them stay quiet. Well, yeah. like you still, you can still backdoor them. Just, I, I We're think, sitting there, me and my wife sitting there, just getting furious. Let's see the as drama it's happening, and you're like, why? Why are you doing this? And like oh, Riley, super it would have created likeable. so much good drama this Heisen, week. Heisen would have been super melting. Unlikable. I think part of it, maybe they didn't show it, as I feel like there may have been people in the alliance who were like, you know, Cameron's also good. Like he'll yeah. win you comps and stuff. Like yeah. he's going to be a good player. It's not like she was up there with a That's pawn. That's the thing. They never did show. They never did talk about the flip side of what that would do. Yeah. That would get rid of Cameron. And Cameron's like super likable. Yeah, strong. Good. You get a guy like that out. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, but, I know. and then you and then you work with. I know Brittany. No, uh, Brittany. Riley. Riley. Jeez. But the idea of her and Heisem just going at each other for like yeah. a couple of weeks, like it keeps everyone safe, right? I don't know why they didn't do it, but whatever. And he's just like. Honey, you said my name. He's, I love you so much as worst. a person. He but sucks. You know I have to do this. <laughs> and then that veto speech, like, oh. <sighs> yeah. All right. Well, maybe wow. it gets better. Hopefully it gets better. Hopefully it gets better. Wow. Um, any news on the Oilers front? And I don't know why I'm bringing it to hockey, but is there anything that I need to know Brandon about Brandon Sutter PTO. Ooh. Why hasn't not? played in two years. Sam right. Gagne PTO. What? Where's he been for two years? Long COVID prevented him from being an athlete. Seriously. Yeah. He's been out for two years, but he so wants to try to play like, again. he's had, like, serious health issues? Yeah. Oh, wow. So it's cool. a cool story to root for in yeah. all this training camp. will be a yeah. Brandon Sutter can crack the team, and, like, why can't he? They don't really have a 4C. The Bishop, Lane Peterson. I don't know if he's going to be the guy. Bishop. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad even... No, I don't, almost don't want to give him the name. That feels like too much pressure. Yeah, it's, it's way too much pressure. The Bishop I, like, I knew. Oh, there was a lot of memes. Yeah. Um, so that's about it, Charles. Talking about Gagne, see if Gagne happens. It Bouchard just, hasn't signed if yet. If you are on Instagram, three point four million, please. If if you are on Instagram and you follow anything to do with the Oilers, you can see like the back channels of the Sam Gagne thing happening. It happened last summer too, though, right? Did it? 
A little bit. We create not that narrative as fans, but it, there's also like I mean, when he's David at Connor's dude, golf tournament, if they're not prepared to sign him, he shouldn't be at that. Tournament. This isn't that was a thing in Vegas, I think, and 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 he was there. Right? You look at MGM you look at McDavid and Drysital doing these summer vacations away, and who's there with them? Sam Gagne, Sammy G. and and Devin Shore and Cody Cece. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, okay. I don't know the stem. No, no, I, I, I agree, man. They're clearly it's hard tight. not to see They're it. Tight. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How could you? Oh know? no. Yeah, well, and there's obviously also the speculation of him joining the front office, which also like that narrative makes a lot of sense because his wife's from here. There's roots here. Like, yeah, he's beloved. He had his best years. His here. dad makes backyard rinks. Edmonton needs a lot of backyard rinks. Mm-hmm. He could set up a whole franchise here. It's like the the conditions are perfect. Mm-hmm. Uh, when we were talking about the golf tournament, we forgot to say. No, yesterday you say, you know where the conditions are perfect? At the golf tournament. Woods for our golf tournament. All right, sure. <laughs> Which is now brought to you by Star Mechanical, title sponsor of the golf tournament. Excited to have Star Mechanical on board to help bring this event up a notch. Best plumbing and heating company in, best plumbing and heating company in Edmonton, starmechanical.ca. And the tournament sold out. We're done? We're done. No more? No more. So no you, mosaics? No mo- mosaics are filled, so your only chance to get in is to play with us two. That's, bid. That's, Whoa. If you want to bid with, or if you want to golf with Tyler and Liam, Tyler being myself. <laughs> so pretentious. <laughs> <laughs> One star. Uh, the bid is <laughs> One, at 1200 One bucks. One star. Jay and Chalmers bids at 1100 bucks. You got to up it by 50. You got to I bid 1201 For just your team. Whoever's, just me and Chalmers. The whoever's two, so. bets... Whoever's buy-in is higher should get one stroke advantage on the other team. No. Liam and I would need nah. eight strokes. We don't probably. need it, but yeah, 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 it's yeah, a way yeah. to give them a little heads, a little, little leg up, so to speak. Email me, Tyler at OilersNation.com if you want to get in on the bidding, and then I'm going to create a little list here for the next couple of days and send out updates every day. Maybe we can put uh, deploy the qualified, super qualified rules. I love a good super qualified. That's a drinking game. So to and quali- it is hard. So you take you 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 take the two nines, okay. And to qualify your front nine score, you have to have at least two drinks. Mm-hmm. If you want to super qualify, you have is it three or four? Three, three, and then you actually get a stroke off. And then you have to do it again on the back. Yeah. So. So, I but anyways, I let's hate that. a conversation. We'll have some time. fun if you uh, end up golfing with either Team Real Life or Team Owen every day. Um, fun, more fun with us, slightly more fun. Debatable. 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 All right, that's a wrap <laughs> on uh, this week's edition. Thursday, construction day, Chalmers. Don't construction forget. Construction day. Construction There's day. always something in the construction on this show. Eh? <laughs> that was the funniest part of the review. Always mysteriously under construction. Guilty. Uh, anyways, talk to everybody Thursday, I guess. I guess. <laughs> <laughs>